time. Lights are out. He even start there. And it looks like Ethan has got that whole shot once again. Anthony Carroll back up into second place. Oh, once again. Around the outside comes Kieran McGowan. Slots up into third place. So they head their way down into gum trees once again. So the first couple starting to get away, but the dice from third back is now pretty close indeed. So down through the left at five and into Siberia. Ethan Olden definitely getting uh, on with it. And now Anthony Carroll just coming back into the grips of the rest of the pack there now as they start to move forward so Ethan doing a great job out there in the lead at the moment starting to uh, to get on with it so they head their way down through the fast section of the circuit down through kangaroo corner and then make Onto the Pirelli front straight away. Ethan leads them out. Anthony Carroll back there in second place. David Wright, Simon Dixon. Through they come there now. Couple of riders getting very close to the, uh, the wall under the bridge here that time around. But uh, good, good dice going on in there. From fourth back, it was Simon Dixon, Lee Holmes, James Irvine, Kira McGowan and Gary Dixon all having a, uh, a great battle there. Michael Roche going through, Rebecca Pierce. One of our female riders, great to see her out there having a go on the 56 bike. So Ethan fires off another lap. Anthony Carroll setting the quickest lap of the race so far at a 129.18. And he's at there in second place at the moment. Third place going through. Still David Wright, Lee Holmes and uh, Simon Dixon having their own private little battle there. As they head out their way under the bridge then down into gum trees. So they get all through through there nice and safely. The rest of them charge on through there now. So our race leaders through the left hander at seven, then down into cops. And Ethan Olden having a uh, a great ride out there this time, picking up from earlier today. So these are a bit longer races than this afternoon. They're eight laps, so they get an extra two in this one. Anthony Carroll definitely starting to catch a little bit. Probably he's running half a second quicker per lap than Ethan Olden. And this time with five laps to go, he's only less than a second behind. So quite possible if he keeps uh, those uh, consistent times. He uh, might be on the money. Gary Dixon 
under the bridge. Probably one of our uh, senior riders out here this weekend. Triple seven by Hedges way under the bridge. Michael Webb. He goes through. So five laps remain in this Formula 4, proudly sponsored by Ray Clacker, Proprietary Limited. Benjamin Stevens goes through, riding the uh, little CBR 250. He's running in 14th at the moment, best time of a 144.68. Down the front straight away comes our race leaders with four laps remain now. Ethan Olden. 29.7 that lap. And then Anthony 29.6. So he's brought that gap back to nearly half, half a second. So Anthony going very well. Simon Dixon now is right on the tail of David Wright as they go through. And James Irvine and Lee Holmes having a great battle. So some good dices up front happening out there at the moment. Michael Roche goes through. Jared Purcell in there as well. Jared, uh, Jared, Gerard Purcell. His quickest time there is a 138 116. Paul Chester in there as well, 149.1. Average speed for these bikes. And the top runners, about 120 kilometres an hour. That's the average speed around the circuit so uh, they're getting in there three laps remain now and Anthony Carroll right on the tail of Ethan Alden as they uh, go into turns one and two David Wright, Simon Dixon still in close company James Irvine and Lee Holmes still yet to decide their positions Lee Holmes running the, uh, the Kawasaki ZXR400. Only uh, one of the Kawasaki's out there. The rest of them are uh, Hondas or Yamaha, Yamaha's. So a few laps remaining now in uh, the Formula 4. Michael Carlson, he's going very well into the 35s now. That's his quickest lap, 35-4-5. Running in a comfortable 10th place at the moment. Once again, this battle goes on with two laps to go. Thought uh, Anthony Carroll might have just picked him up there, but Ethan just holds onto it as they uh, head their way under the bridge once again. Anthony Carroll goes just a, uh, a little bit quicker there with a 28.999. In their last lap was one one thousandth of a second separated them. So with only a couple of laps remaining now, it's going to get uh, fairly close. Next time around they'll be uh, presented the, the last lap board.
Michael Carlson under the bridge. He's uh, just been loving his racing lately. Good to see him out there on the uh, little 250. So just waiting for our race leaders to come onto the straight and here they come Ethan Olden, Anthony Carroll, Carroll right in the slipstream, last lap board goes out this time round, Ethan Olden just hanging on to that lead there with Anthony Carroll right on his tail. Those two head their way under the bridge and it looks like Anthony trying to uh, set up Ethan down in gum trees, so a slower rider and still no positional change, still Ethan out there in the lead. Anthony holds on to that second place there now as they go down into Siberia. Head their way back up the hill through the left hander at seven. And Anthony right with Ethan now as they go through Cops. And down into the fast section. Right, here they go now. Back into view. And Anthony Carroll is looking the goods at the moment. This is going to be a very, very close finish there as they go down through Kangaroo Corner. And I think Ethan may have just snipped back up the inside there all double check as they come up the hill out of Kangaroo Corner and onto the front straight away. Here they come now and it's side by side but Ethan Olin's going to take the win. Another fine ride there for him. Great stuff there. Second place in there. Anthony Carroll, a good finish there for him. Third place was uh, Lee Holmes. Fourth place in there now, Simon Dixon.